welcome back to my channel i do hope you're doing well so we've got quite a rather large haul my lovelies um a huge bag here that you would have seen in the thumbnail and i will lift it up when we get to it but i can't i can't move because i've got a little guy hiding behind me which let's just say i went to matalan wanted to have a look and come out with a little human so make sure you're comfy my lovelies because this could probably be the biggest haul of haul week for black friday so I mean, make sure you're comfy. And as I say, we've got homeware. We've got some fashion in here. We've got some shoes, clothing, more homewares, and a mini little human. So make sure you're comfy and let's get in with our Christmas edition Matalan haul. <laughs> right, so as you can see, ah, oh my God, the bag is filled, jam-packed. And this little guy is just going to rest behind me until I want to show him. All right, we're just going to leave him behind there. All of the try-on clips will be when I show you the clothing, I'll put them there or there. Not entirely sure which size yet. And for reference, I pick everything up in a size 10 or medium if it is. Right, let's kick it off. I mean, what's another cushion, my lovelies? I've got about 200, but hey-ho. This was £10, which I think is actually really good. Right, let me move this bag because it's already annoying me. You know what I'm like when I get annoyed, my lovelies. So, lovely little cushion. So, of course, we've got one side that says nice. And I loved it because you've got these pom-poms on each corner. And it's the teddy bear bulb. So, are you nice? Or are you naughty? So, in essence, for £10, you've got two cushions. Because you can flip it over whether you've been naughty or nice. I mean, the big guy's going to know, ain't he? But, yes, saw this as soon as I walked in. I went down with Brandon's mum. And when we got there, I was like, <gasps> I need that, it's fluffy, it's going in the basket right now. Well, actually, that's a lie, not a basket. I had a trolley. I had a trolley and, yeah, I got quite carried away, to be perfectly honest. But, yes, I thought this was absolutely lovely. And as I say, for £10, can't go wrong. You've literally got two cushions. So, whichever your theme, if you want to go maybe more neutral and play it nice, or if you, you're not worried about a bit of colour, you can go for the naughty side. And anything like a teddy bear and bog, you know I'm all here for it, don't you? right 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 oh my god saw this insane matalan's homeware at christmas i'm just like how do you think of these things this is probably the worst jumper that i could have worn shannon lee what was you thinking because i'm getting hooked up left right center i'm trying to hide this little guy behind me with a sleeve i mean it's doing quite a good job right there ain't it i keep getting hooked up here nevertheless we're gonna go with it so i saw this this was seven pound and it is a sparkling dine wine bottle holder and it's in the shape of a santa slate now how fabulous as i say not that i've got my own home yet but when you're like hosting or you just want a bottle of wine on a friday night or saturday night or any night of the week to be honest doesn't even have to be wine I think you'd get a bottle of gin in there, wouldn't you? Or any, like, Baileys. Maybe a small bottle of Baileys, because we all know I'm partial to that. Mold wine. I just saw that, and I said to Brandon's mum, oh, my God, I need that, because it goes with something else sleigh theme that I picked up. But, yeah, seven quid. And I love the fact that it was silver, because, as we all know, a lot of the stuff comes in, like, gold for Christmas. And I'm not really a gold type of gal. I'm a lot more silver, as you know. But, yes, I found that. Absolutely loved it got carried away with the diffusers we've got a few in here my lovelies but these were £4.50 for 70 cl and I picked up a couple of diffusers last year from Matalan and they were great gave a few to Dada Mama G had a few absolutely loved them couldn't go wrong so £4.50 the first one I picked up can you guess it's only going to be one or the other gingerbread my lovelies and as I say these are great like such a lovely packaging and then the bottle is just a very simple glass bottle with the lovely little red label sticker that just says Christmas a gingerbread reed diffuser absolutely love it and lasts about four weeks it says so if you've got someone and you're doing like a little hamper maybe or even just someone who you know loves like reed diffusers or even for yourself what am I talking about I have been eyeing up like I'm quite on top of my christmas shopping at the moment but i am more partial to be like oh present from me to me who knows is anyone else like that or is it just me i'm afraid right oh my god when i saw this so of course you know we're obsessed with gonks she says as she's hiding a human gonk size behind her 
they had like a huge gonk range and me and B's mum went there and the only reason she didn't pick it up herself was because of the way the handle is you'll see when I show you but I loved it absolutely loved it this my lovelies was £3.50 so you're probably just thinking what's wrong with it but I don't know can you tell by the handle there see it's like curved so it's almost like your hand sits in it but B's mum likes like a nice chunky handle with it but I saw it and I was like oh my god get in my trolley now I need you do I probably need another mug no is the perfect answer for that did I see it and just get carried away because I already had this little guy in the trolley well not little guy he was actually quite huge and I felt like I was bundling a person in the back of the car when I had to lay him down. So, yeah. Mama G, on the other hand, when we showed her, was absolutely fascinated. And you will see probably in a Vlogmas coming up where this little guy is rehomed. Because he's on display for everyone to see, alright? And then... <laughs> probably a very random purchase. I saw this for two pounds and was like, you know what? We ain't got a turkey baster. Or even, like, not even just a turkey baster. We haven't got a meat baster in general. So I thought this is perfect for, like, when I do me beef and me pork and obviously the turkey and chicken. Two quid, my lovelies. Not really much about it. Christmassy, I mean, it's red, but I think the majority of them are red. Oh, it's like getting a little steam facial, ain't it? But, yeah, absolutely sidetracked. I was just like, oh, you're two pound, you're going in the trolley. Best believe that, my lovelies. Right, righty, righty, righty. Oh, so this I don't know if I'm gonna keep, but I just thought I'd pick it up because Matalan has a huge gift section, like absolutely huge, and it's actually really good prices. They do a lot of branded stuff from food and drink, so Guinness, Bailey's, they had Mrs. Bridges crackers reese's everything like that then they have a section of like stationary bits then they have like makeup bags and wash bags they had a huge dog section oh my god the dog section was just oh unbelievable excuse me thought i put my phone on silent i do apologize my lovelies um and then they had like the big random section where like they had like this giant slipper then they had like brussels sprout hats and all like the comedy section really really good and i think sometimes you can get three for two coming up to christmas i'm not entirely sure i think they do an offer like on boots but i saw this it was three pound a lot of personalized stuff as i say makeup bags wash bags pencil cases diaries everything like that but i just picked up a little key ring to show you my lovelies as i say i have got quite an extortion amount of key rings already so i don't think that mama g will let me keep another key ring to be perfectly honest but i thought i'd pick it up show you what it's like and as i say if you've been down to your local matalan or even online the beauty of matalan is it's online my lovely so you haven't even got to leave the house i get very carried away in store i don't tend to go online too much because i think in store my limit is when the trolley is full online your basket's never full like they don't put a limit on it so i think i could keep going and going and going and that's very dangerous i mean it's dangerous enough for me down in the store let me go online with like no limit is right what else have we got got quite a mixture i'm looking in here thinking shannon lee right i picked these up and they was on 30 percent off so i thought not too bad so picked up some boots my lovelies because i've been trying to find these ain't my ideal boots but they will do for now. I really want to invest in a good pair of Chelsea boots. Currently, I am eyeing up, obviously, classic Doc Martens. We all know I'm a Doc Martin lover. And I have had my eye on a couple of pairs. But I've also seen a pair from Tommy Hilfiger that have kind of took my eye. And that's quite a shock for me. Because I've never shopped in Tommy Hilfiger. Never looked. Never paid any interest. And now, all of a sudden, these boots are, like, forefront of my mind. And I've also seen... A lovely pair of boots from Cavella. So you know I say like every year I get like a nice new coat and a nice pair of boots. I was still yet to find my winter boots. Like these are fine for now. But if in the Black Friday sale, Tommy Hilfiger or Cavella have a sale and they are in it, your girl might just be treating herself because they do Klarna. If you know, you know. I'm not going to say anymore. Klarna is like the key to my heart at the moment. But anyway, I'm uh, gassing away here. I need a pair of like flat boots. All of my ankle boots are healed. And say for example, might be going in Wonderland Friday with Brandon. That unfortunately I won't be vlogging because as we all know, Brandon doesn't like being on camera and that's kind of going to be like our little day. But 
from Saturday Vlogmas begins, my lovelies. And we are kicking Vlogmas off with a bang, me and Mama G, just you wait and see. So I wanted a new pair of boots so that if we went Winter Wonderland, I'm not walking around in like chunky heeled boots, just like a little flat boot. So I saw these from the Papaya range and they were £22. So as I say, they had 30% off, which was £6.60. So I got them for like just under 16 quid. I thought, so they're not completely flat, my lovelies. They do have a bit of a heel on them, but they are a nice leather front. And then this is like, oh, dropping it everywhere. This is like that sock material. So it's very stretchy. So I can put jeans over the top or say if I was wearing leggings, tuck them in. And I loved the little detailing at the back. I did try these on in the store and I said to Bees mum, I was like, what do you think? She was like, really nice. And when we saw the price, I was like, it's not even a question. But yes, as I say, I do need a pair of flat boots. I do have flat boots as in essence, like I'm looking at my River Island ones now, but they are like halfway up my calf. You know, like my really chunky, like bomber style Doc Martin boots. But I just want a nice pair of ankle boots that I can chuck on. And as I say, I can deal with this heel. This is like a diddy heel. So I thought we'll give them a go. But yeah, as I say, I have got my eye on a nice few pairs of Chelsea boots and the Cavella boots. I don't know even if the Cavella boots would fit me because they are knee high. They have elasticated sides in them which is great because the calves have got a bit bigger as we all know when i done the charity run i thought everything was going to go smaller it got bigger because it went to muscle so i was like um not quite my uh mind thinking so yes if they do go on oh my god best believe you're going to be seeing them but for now i thought that was a nice little pair and as i say matalan i don't really go to for shoes that often i used to always get my work shoes from there they're loafer range and like little brogue range next to none Da, 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 da. one pound fifty two four six eight ten twelve candy canes my lovelies you are probably going to be sick of the sight of a candy cane but everywhere i go everywhere i see them i have to pick up some candy canes whether these are just the plain peppermint ones again i don't care if they're peppermint flavored anything at all mama g is saying like she's surprised i don't have bad guts every night because i'm literally like Chomping away on me candy canes, me lovelies, because as I say, I am addicted. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Do I need another one? Probably not. Did I see it get carried away? Yes. I picked up a bath bomb, my lovelies. As I say, with that gift range, they have a lovely toiletry section and bath care. Got this little guy, two fifty. Now a little bit pricey. I think these were about one fifty-two quid last year. So I think the inflation has gone up a bit, but. He was just so cute. And I don't actually know if I'm going to keep him for myself or I might actually pop that in Mama G's Christmas Eve box because something like that, it's just like a nice little addition. If he was here last year, you will remember we do our Spend Christmas Eve vlog with us where we just have the day basically going like, are we going to the butchers this Christmas Eve again? I don't know if we're doing butchers the day before Christmas Eve or Christmas Eve. Might be Christmas Eve even, not Christmas Eve. I'm not entirely sure, but you spend the day with us and then in the evenings we do our Christmas Eve box. And yeah, last year you all seemed to love it because there was quite a few little little funny bits in there. And as I say, Christmas Eve box. We've only been doing it for the past few years, but now it's like our little tradition. So yes, need to try and find my Christmas Eve box for Mama G actually. That's a uh, little task for me to do also. Right, got a few gifts for the men as well let's have a look so men you cannot go wrong with socks i think socks boxers kind of like an lynx africa set it's like an essential ain't it so dada always has socks so i saw these ones active fresh and the antibacterial finish biome technology cotton blend they are one two three four five six seven oh obviously it's seven shannon it's the days of the week socks so you get seven pairs for eight pounds and as i say these are the antibacterial ones but they're the days of the week so i just thought these were really great as say a nice little stocking filler for him and he's got days of the week for work socks not pretty much to say what not much to say on that. Oh my god, I'm delirious. It's been a very long day, my love is. But yeah, the Active Fresh, and they had like some thermal ones, which I think I also picked up. You just can't go wrong. I mean, I think he used to get his socks from MS because he used to have like that a certain um air rated style or something because he's in steel toe cap boots all day. He needed something that like had air and that to like probably tear my blood, like, stop smelly feet. 
you know, I mean, if you're a man or you know your partner or anyone just works in like construction or anything with steel toe caps, it's like your feet sweat, unfortunately. So yeah, trying to keep everything so it's like antibacterial and safe, you know? And then, oh God, there's still so much in here. <laughs> right, let's go with this. Me and Ben's mum got the same on this. She was like, is that the right price? I was like, yes. Four pound, my lovelies. It's obviously got gonks on, but they call them gnomes on this one because it says gnome for the holidays. How cute is that? Obviously, we're not going to eat our dinner off of it. The idea is to do like mince pies or have anything like that on it. But as soon as I saw the gongs, I was just like, yes, thank you. You've got to go in the trolley. And as I say, B's mum was like, I'm going to get one as well. She was like, because that is so cute. And then when we got back, um, B's dad was like, you've been walking around with a plate. I was like, I bought a mini human, aka behind me. He was like, what are you like? And oh my God, why is my phone going? I do apologise. Ay, 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 I'm never normally this popular in the evenings. Probably all the emails coming through for Black Friday, but I cannot spend a single more penny because I think my mother would disown me. But yes, I am going to stop rabbiting on this one, my lovelies, because we've still got quite a full bag there. So get comfy. As I say, go and get a refill if you need to, and then we'll come back for part two. We've got a few more clothes, gifts, some homewares, maybe some more diffusers, and then we can get onto the big guy here. Woohoo! Right. So, let's have a look, let's have a look. I saw these, and I'm not going to lie, my lovelies, I don't quite know the vibe I was thinking. So, oh, it's all hooked up. Oh, we're having a right to an eight here. Hello? Nope, you're not belonging to that. Oh, my God, what's happening to you? Oh, there we go. So, I saw this, and again, I'm going to do a pig's ear job showing it to you. You'll see more in the trial clip. I thought this would be really nice to work. The only thing, I don't think looking at it now... Oh, it has a bit of stretch. We'll see how we go, eh? Matt alone, I can find hit and miss. Sometimes the tents are absolutely huge, and sometimes they won't go over the girls. So, it's just a navy blue with this sort of, like, buccal style cat sleeve checker dress that goes down 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 as i say i'm not going to stop saying that and i think looking at this it's going to come around to my knee level you will see more in the trial clip here i'm hoping it goes over the girls i have a feeling it might be a little bit snug on the belly but this could be something if i really like the style of it that i will keep and then when i start kicking me tush into gear in the new year i don't go by scales I know that's probably very silly and you should do, but I go by clothing and what clothing fits me. So I probably should weigh myself before I start my health kit, but I'm going to have, say, a dress and a pair of jeans that are tad too tight or maybe not even do up a ball. But that is what I will measure for when I'm getting in shape because I don't care if the scales say you've lost one pound. That one pan could be the difference in getting in them jeans. So I would be so disheartened thinking I've only lost a pan. But then if I put the jeans on and I fit in, oh my God, like, mind over. So yes, you would have seen in the trial clip whether this is a thumbs up or a thumbs down. But I actually love the papaya range. You'll know from previous Matalan hauls, I have quite a bit from there. Love their jeggings. They didn't have any new colours though this season. A little bit worried. I wanted some like nice chocolate brown leggings, possibly a ripping them, maybe some khaki, but they didn't have any. They just had the ripped denim ones, which I already own, and the standard black ones that I already own. So yes, couldn't get anything of that, I'm afraid, my lovelies. And then, da -da -da -da. oh, got a gravy jug. Oh no! Oh, I've just noticed it's chipped. Oh, no. Right, so I'm going to have to exchange this for sure. This was £6, my lovelies. But as I say, it matches the mug. And we all know I'm gonk obsessed. But as I say, yeah, I've just noticed it's got a little chip out of the back, I'm afraid. Very, very sad on that. But yes, £6. Absolutely love it. Hand-painted. Looks absolutely fab apart from that, as I say. I just see that. It was the last one there. So I was like... I better go and get it. But yeah, I'm going to exchange that and pick up a new one because obviously we have to have that. And then, oh my God, this is what I'm excited for. Oh, not the underwear attached. This, my lovelies, was £12. 
as soon as i saw this i was like oh my god i need you in my life this was as i say 12 pound it is a santa's sleigh serving board have you seen anything more expensive well expensive looking it's not exactly cheap but i think it looks a lot more expensive and it says it's the most wonderful time of the year in the middle i can picture having cheese and crackers on this i can picture having mince pies on this i just think this is absolutely fabulous and as i say this was with the wine drinks holder so i was like yes thank you you are going straight in the basket and i just loved it it's stuff like this that like i will keep for years and years to come and i just need to find somewhere to put it though kind of like lacking in the storage space at the moment my love is but yes absolutely love it i do believe home bargains do a sleigh or something like this i don't think it has the personalization in the middle but i do think they do some form of a sleigh ride serving board let's just say oh oh he's gonna fall down behind me now isn't he oh sorry little guy right let's have a look another cooking thing my lovelies four pound look at these two spatulas are they not just the cutest things ever so you've got a gingerbread man and a christmas tree four quid two pounds of spatula red and green festivities at its finest there's not much more you can say about that could you absolutely love that and they're like the silicon material as well so absolutely fab and yeah i saw them and once again i was like oh my god i need them too socks these are for brandon they are a pack of five star wars socks i was trying to find ones that were just baby yoda couldn't find them so i thought oh you know what we'll go with it and we shall just get him some socks of these so this was 10 pound for five pairs so two quid a pair but as i say they had so many they had star wars they had marvel what else did they have they had i think simpsons a family guy very very good for like their kind of branded products oh my god little guy you are digging in me darling <laughs> let's have a look we're just gonna put him can i put him there i'm hoping he don't like fall there we go you're just gonna have to deal with like it looks like i've got a little hat behind me but hey ho and then another diffuser this time i got christmas cookies and cream my lovies love the packaging of this like a lovely snowy white and then oh this, the only thing with this netting, it gets a little bit itchy. Oh, God. <laughs> and, yeah, as I say, loved it. Like an icy blue design, a bit more chicer. If you don't want to go for, like, the traditional red, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, Christmas is here, cookies and cream, or even just, I think a lot of places do things, like, called winter sparkle and that. And it's more like the neutral stylings if you didn't want the bright, bright ones. Let's have a look. Oh. B's mum actually saw this and we saw it in like a sage green but they didn't have my size so I thought oh, I'll try it in the grey it was £12.50 and again I'll do a pig's ear I'll show you more in the trial clip it's just this ribbed long sleeve top that you can wear with say like leggings trouser skirt because it's got a belt that goes around the middle and i thought for 12.50 it can be kind of one of them pieces that you could have casual with a pair of leggings if you're dossing around the house or you can dress it up nice leather trousers maybe not a skirt i don't think that because it's got the belt around it yeah like a leather look trouser maybe a skirt i don't know perhaps a midi skirt underneath a very plain midi skirt but yeah 12.15 and say they did have this in other colours I was trying to see if they had the bottoms because I thought it might have been part of like a two piece lounge set but I couldn't find any so I believe it was just a one off like piece on its own I picked up me and Mama G matching Christmas dresses we have had a bit of a disaster I've been picking up Christmas dresses left right centre and they've all turned out to be see through so I'm really hoping that these ones ain't see through because the ones we got from Matterland last year or the year before might have been last year i think it was last year they're fine they're like red but i found with the black ones they are so see-through so i'm hoping let's have a look let's get you out shall we oh my goodness everything's tangled around here my lovelies so as i say it's just a clear black dress you will see more in the trial clip if it is to the point of see-throughness that it's really bad I won't put a clip in. I'll probably insert some text here because I don't really want to get demonetized for you to be able to see my underwear as outwear, even when I've got clothes on over it. So they were £9. 
and it's just simply a black little dress with candy canes but just as I'm holding it up that looks quite see-through so we shall see I really hope not because I like that one because both of our Christmas dresses are like quite red and out there that's quite more of like a subdued one but hmm we shall see my lovelies and we're coming down to the last few things in the bag so let's have a look let's have a look more socks as i say these are ones for dada they are work socks so it's five pairs for six pound and they say extra durability a reinforced heel and toe reduced abrasion and improved comfort so if you have got someone who is in a job where they are on their feet all the time or pretty much majority of the time things like this with the reinforced heel and everything i think are really good so it was six pound and they'll say they're a nice thick style i mean you can see how thick they are that's all of the stylings. Then you've got all the different colourings there. Un, dos, tres, cat, sam. Five pairs. And as I say, ow, getting hooked up here. He should like them, as I say. He's always on the lookout for new socks. And especially with work ones, because I know, even for me, just if I go to work in my loafers, I have my little pop socks. My feet are freezing. Absolutely freezing. And then if I have my Doc Martens and say bed socks, my feet are still cold. Does anyone else have that? I could be really, really warm in my body and my feet and my nose will be freezing cold. I don't know what it is. My granddad used to say when I had a cold nose it was dog's disease. Dysmempha or something like that rings a bell. He used to say it was a dog's disease. I used to think, thanks, like, because he said a dog's nose is always wet or cold. And I was like, what are you trying to say there, granddad? But yeah, absolutely my feet are always the most coldest part even as i'm sitting here now i am baking the heating is on full blast but my feet feel like little frozen sausages like i can feel the coldness of them through my bed socks right now so that's fabulous and then the last thing my lovelies picked up a new underwear set so why not treat myself go all out their underwear sets at Malan are very very nice they do a three pack normally of French lace mini high leg three for seven absolutely love it so this set is the lingerie collection the bra was 10 pound and the briefs were five pounds so 15 quid for a set which i think is quite good i loved the coloring of this all right obviously i'm not going to show you this on but look so that is the little set so the bra it's a lovely navy color and then it's kind of got like little champagne flowers in it it comes down i love like the lacy band underneath i think that's really really cute and then the bottoms are just a little matching brazilian pair and then the back is all lace with a little bit of say satin silk so yeah i saw that and i thought you know what i ain't bought much underwear since when was the last time I bought some underwear? Probably in the summer from lunch when they had their sale on. So yes, I thought a nice little uh, underwear set just to treat myself, you know, because I thought I'd been treating everyone else. I was getting in the mood for Christmas presents. And yeah, I thought I'd treat myself. You didn't think I was going to forget about the guy behind me, did you? Sorry, one of the uh, clothes things just come off. That's great. So, drum roll please i would like you to meet i need to bring my leg around because i'm ow getting cramped i would like you to meet the newest member of the family all right my lovelies we are still yet to name him like i've just been calling him santi for the moment but i think we need to give him a call this is a gonk obviously what's his proper name sham he hasn't got a name. Oh, well, that's great. So it is one of the gonks that wobble. Can you see that? It's like a wibble wobble gonk. He was £25. He was the last in the shop. Like we walked in and then Pete's mum was like, oh my God, look at that gonk. And I was like, oh, he's the last one there. It's meant to be. I need him. I need him. And would you believe it? He went straight in the trolley. So I'm trying to, you can't even fully see how tall he is. He's very tall, my lovelies, and yeah, he just wibble wobbles. Absolutely love him. Love the sequin hat. I mean, if that's just not Christmas vibes, like, hey guys, I'm the newest member of the family here. Leave me your name suggestions down below. What do you think we should call him? Should we just stick with classic Santi or should we go for someone different? But yes, £25. It may seem a lot, and it could potentially be seen as a lot, I think, but he's going to be in the family now forever. 
forever and ever and ever and ever. We're not getting rid of you, Santa, all right? So, yes. Hi. This is how we're ending the haul with our new little member of the family. Let me put him down and we can round out the outro, right, my lovelies? <laughs> well, that was quite a haul, wasn't it? As I say, we have got quite a lot of everything and anything. There are gifts here, there are homeware, there's diffusers, there's a Christmas sleigh board for your serving. We have a life-size gonk. Me and Mama G matching dresses. As I say, I haven't yet tried on the try on clips. So you will know before me, because I will be filming these after I've done this, whether the thing's got a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Lovely new pair of boots for me. As I say, absolutely love them. Dada's bits, some new little mugs and homeware. I need to go and exchange that gravy boat. That's made me very sad that it's chipped. And yes, as I say, Matalan, oh my God. If you have one near you, or even if you don't go online, Go online, especially around Christmas time and Easter time, I find. They don't tend to do too much for Halloween, but I do remember last year, well, the year just gone, Easter gone. They did actually have quite a really nice selection of Easter bits down there, like some wreaths and little bunny decorations. So, yes, Matalam can be seen as quite pricey. I'm not going to lie. Some of the bits you will look at and think, mm, really, but... I absolutely love it, hands down. We've been going there for years and years. Had a bit of a love-hate relationship growing up because I used to just think it was stuff for Mama G. And then I fell in love with our jeggings, their coats, and the rest is history, I'm afraid, my lovelies. So, yes, as I say, my bed is surrounded. Lovely turkey baster, or just me meat baster in general, let's just be honest. Plenty of socks for Dada, Brandon, new cushions, and let's see if the clothing fits. So, yes, and, of course... Leave me your name suggestions for Santi down there who is just bobbing away loving life. So if you did enjoy the video guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. What was your favourite bit? Have you got any gonks? Have you seen any bigger gonks? Am I going to be jealous? Let me know. What do you think of the cushions? Do you like the socks? Do you or your partner think never can get any like nice thick socks? Pop down to Matlan and have a look. Do you think... The cheese ball. Should I keep that? Should I stay or should I go now? I really want to keep it. It's just to see if I actually have the storage space for it. So who knows? We shall see whenever I eventually move out and it's our first Christmas whether I do keep it or whether Mama G was like, it's got to go back. I need to exchange my gravy jug because I am very sad about that. Very, very sad indeed. But hey ho. Still can't do that. I'm sure it's only on glass. Hey ho, we're going to go with it, my lovelies. And as I say, take care, stay safe as always, my lovelies. And I shall see you all in the next haul. Bye.